This tool is so useful that people who speak three or more languages recommend this to beginners all the time. Keep watching and find out the right way the pros use music to learn languages. First, music catches your attention on some level. Have you ever sat in a restaurant with someone in the middle of a conversation, but the song in the background suddenly catches your attention? You may be really involved talking with the person, but the song still catches your attention, still reaches your ears. Even if you're listening passively, music subconsciously gets your attention. Second, the sound of music helps you hear native pronunciation. Listening to music in a target language can help you become more familiar with the language's sounds. Not sure if you're just starting out with the language, you won't pick up on any words or their meanings yet. But what will happen is your brain will start to familiarize yourself with the sounds of the language. This was true for me when I started studying Korean. At the very beginning of my language learning journey, I listened to tons of K-pop. No joke. I didn't know at all what they were saying in those songs, but it made my pronunciation so much better when I started learning different vocabulary, sentence patterns, and grammar structures. So, whether it's the uvular R's of French or German, or the rolled R found in Spanish, Italian, Polish, or Russian, or any of these sounds from any other language, the music can expose you to the proper pronunciations of the basic auditory building blocks of a language. Third, music is entertaining. Whether it's soothing or energizing, music entertains our brains. And when we're feeling entertained, we tend to feel happy and relaxed. And it's when you're relaxed that you learn the best. Fourth, music makes words memorable. As we listen to the same music repeatedly over and over again, this actually activates a part of our brains that's in charge of long-term memory. Basically, what this means is that it's very easy for us to memorize lyrics and songs even if we're not actively trying to do so. The music itself makes the lyrics more memorable, which is definitely helpful when you're learning a language. In addition to strengthening our long-term memory storage, listening to music also sharpens our ears. It makes us better able to distinguish between different language sounds. Fifth, music travels well. You can take music wherever you go, and it's perfect for multitasking. Fit it into your workout, your chores, your commute, listen to it as you drift off to sleep, etc. Kevin? What if I told you about going through my wardrobe? Oops, I did it again. Sixth, music is personal. Think about it. Whether it's techno, adult contemporary, country, hip hop, or opera, there's some type of music that fits your personal taste. Listen to whatever styles you enjoy. You're almost certain to find them in your target language. In this way, the sounds of the language that you're trying to learn will become a part of you over time. The sounds won't seem foreign anymore, which is like magic when you're learning a language. So yes, listening to music can become a part of your language learning strategy. Here are a few tips to help you get the most out of it. First, as a disclaimer, don't rely on listening to music alone for language learning. Truth be told, you're not going to learn a language from the ground up just by listening to music, radio, podcasts, or television programs in your target language no matter how much you love the music or how much you are listening to it. If you're serious about learning a language, it's perfect to listen to music as a supplemental part of a largely active language learning program, but it's definitely worth it. For example, as a beginner, try listening to music to help you recognize the sounds of a language. Just start simple and listen to the sounds. Fill your ears with the native pronunciation of a language. Then use resources like music videos to match the sounds to the written language. It's a foolproof equation for fantastic language learning. Even if you don't know what the words mean yet or how they're spelled, you can get a subconscious grasp of how the language sounds when spoken or sung. 
and you'll be amazed by how much it will help you. It helped me so much when I first started studying Korean. Now, for intermediate and advanced learners, you guys can supplement your language learning resources with listening to music as well. Listening to music exposes more experienced learners to culturally relevant materials and opens the door for active language study with music. Once you have a solid grasp of a language, you can recognize many more words and phrases. You'll be much more likely to learn the words of songs playing in the background, just like you would if you were listening to music in your native language. Pretty cool, huh? And for learners of all levels, use repetition to reap the benefits of listening to music for language learning. For beginners, repetition helps you guys recognize the language sounds. More advanced learners can passively learn and retain lyrics just as they might in their native language. So, no matter what level you are in your language learning, music is the secret to getting better at your target language. Also, important tip, create playlists and play them often to give your brain the chance to pick up on the lyrics. Keep yourself guessing by playing the songs in random order. This can prompt your subconscious to pay a little more attention since you won't know exactly what's coming next. Now, in case you don't know where you can find music to help you with your language learning, I've got you covered with these resources. Number one, Fluent You. My favorite app for learning a language with music is Fluent You. And that's because it uses real world content that is actually authentic. It's not just one type, it's all types. Videos, trailers, ads, or speeches. Pretty epic, huh? Each Fluent You video comes with interactive subtitles in English, so that means if you're watching a music video, you can follow along with the lyrics on screen. And if you don't know any of the words or phrases, you can just click on it and Fluent You will immediately show you the definition and context. Cool, huh? Give it a shot. Two weeks for free if you press on the link in the description. I promise you'll learn a bunch by the end of it. Number two, Spotify. Whether you're into a particular artist or a set of genres, Spotify has plenty of music listening resources for your musical language learning. Similar to Netflix, Spotify will plug your choices into an algorithm, generating a made-for-you section that guides you to new musical favorites. And for someone who gets bored listening to the same songs over and over again, this feature is so lovely. Number three is iTunes. With iTunes, you can stream international music in dozens of genres on your phone or iPad. Choose from tens of thousands of songs. iTunes selections are neatly categorized by an extensive range of cultures, styles, and languages, such as K-pop, Chinese traditional folk, or Thai country. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't know that either. Number four is YouTube. I'm sure if you're watching this video right now that you're familiar with YouTube, just a guess. With a vast supply of music in dozens of languages and styles from many different eras, YouTube can introduce you to a wide variety of songs to enrich your music listening language learning experience. YouTube's search engine is run by its parent company, Google. That means it does a fairly good job of finding similar material to your searches, which it uses to populate an up next playlist specifically for you. When you've done multiple searches for music in a particular language and you have autoplay switched on, you'll automatically get unending hours of music listening material. Additionally, we have a full video about 12 hacks to learn languages on YouTube. Be sure to check it out if you want the perfect guide to using YouTube as a language learning resource. Number five, Google Play. Unlike the format of iTunes, Google Play tends to localize its offerings to your location, which can get frustrating when you're trying to open your musical horizons. But a simple hack for finding music in your target language is simply looking for an artist you already know in the search box at the top of Google Play's music section. Not only will you see a short bio of the artist at the top of the screen, but you'll get a selection of similar artists and songs, 
So Google Play isn't too bad after all. And finally, number six is Amazon. The online retail giant has a large selection of music from around the world, and I'm not kidding. Amazon offers streaming music as well as music on physical media like CDs. Some of it comes from third-party merchants though, so the prices and delivery speeds can vary. And you may pay more than you expect on shipping for some items. If you already have some form of Alexa, you can simply ask her to find you music in your target language or languages in the genres you most enjoy. Now that's convenient, let me tell you. If you want to review everything that I talked about in this video, check out the PDF I'm providing for you in the description below. It's free and I think pretty useful. Check it out, it'll help you out. And if you want more tips and tricks for learning languages authentically, be sure to press on that video right over there. It has amazing content that's going to help you become more fluent in your target language. It's a goldmine of information and I think you'll really enjoy it. We'll see you over there.